All right, I had to make a video about this real quick. So I tried to install, you know, Windows 11, and of course, you know, I had to do the secure boot, and then um, I had to, like, change some sort of, like, PK like, key or whatever, and uh, there's this one other step I forgot about. Uh, but it is what it is. Point is, I got a blank screen. Um, it wasn't working at all. I got, well, I mean, the computer was turning on, you know, I had all the the lights and stuff, keyboard and mouse was turning on, but the bl the screen was completely blank. I had no interface, nothing. It was just blank screen completely. And, you know, I was reading articles and they all say, you know, um, reset like C um, CMOS or whatever, that little battery right here, right there, that thing, that KTS thing, that battery, you have to like remove it uh from there obviously you um turn the computer off and unplug your you know your power supply and whatnot and then you remove that thing for like 15 seconds or so um and and that should reset your uh your your cmos or whatever and kind of like reset your uh um your bios and that didn't work my screen was still turned off so what i did was i reset that you know i took that off did that whole process um, but you know, while the computer was still off, I unplugged my, uh, my graphics card, took it out. Uh, and then I plugged my HDMI in directly into the motherboard, booted up the computer, and that actually gave me, um, an actual display. So BIOS popped up. And then from there, uh, you know, once it, it told me, say, hey, you have reset your BIOS, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I went back into, uh, the BIOS and then from there I just disabled secure boot. Uh, and then I saved and exited, um, you know, and that obviously brought up the screen. I turned it back off, um, put the GPU back in, connected it, and then moved the HDMI back down to the motherboard, and that seemed to work just fine, and we are back in business, as you can see, and it's working just fine. I know I'm not the greatest at explaining things, and I'm not actually showing you live because I'm not going through that fucking process again. I'm sorry, um, but that is how that process works. So, you know, reset your, your CMOS. I'm pretty sure you can find, um, by taking that thing out, I'm pretty sure you can, you can find tons of articles like I did out there. And I'll, I'll try to link some, uh, in the description if I can find any, uh, well, if I can find the ones that I saw. Um, so you take that out, obviously for like 15 seconds or whatever, reset it. And then, and then you take out the GPU and then you move the HDMI to the uh, motherboard and then you turn it back on and you should you should you should be back in business and then obviously you know put the turn it back off again put the gpu back on and then boom you're you're good to go i hope this is helpful to anybody i will link the two um the articles that i used in the description so you can get a, a much better uh explanation for this but those are the two steps that uh well the two phases would they have multiple steps in between that i used to, to, to get this fucking thing fixed and uh, fuck this Windows 11 update. Um, I'm not messing with that secure boot thing again. Um, maybe later uh, I, I can try to maybe tr like try to upgrade again, but for now, fuck it. I, I won't mess with it.